is my third time filming this because the bloopers. <laughs> hey everyone, hope you all had a wonderful holiday. My name is Takea and welcome to English with Lingo Trip. In today's video, I want you to learn how to confidently introduce yourself in different scenarios. Whether it's a job interview, your English class, or you're sending an email, you need to be prepared. Everything's in English. All you need to be. All right, how did you learn to speak English? The first part, of course, is your name. You can always say, my name is... Hi. My name is... Hi. My name is... What? My full name is... Or, my first name is blank, and my last name is blank. Or, you can also say, my legal name is... This you would usually use at, like, a doctor's office and such places like that. She's spelling your legal name. Let's say maybe your legal name is hard to pronounce. Then you might say, you can call me... You can call me... Joker. Or everyone calls me such and such, and you would give them um, your nickname, for instance. If you have like a shorter version of your name, that's easier for them to say. A lot of times people will ask you, where are you from? And you can say, I'm from... Or, I'm originally from... I'm originally from Ireland. Or, I was born in... Or you can say, I grew up in... And you can name your hometown. I grew up in Kansas, General. If you want to mention your nationality, you can say, I'm... Followed by your nationality. So for me, I would say, I'm American. Then they might ask, where do you live? Or, depending on if you live in a different place than where you grew up, they might ask you, where do you live now? Or, what part of such and such place did you grow up in? So for instance, when I tell people I'm originally from New Jersey, they tend to ask, what part of Jersey are you from? If they ask, what's your address, and it's not a work-related thing, don't give it to them. <laughs> no one should be asking for your address unless you're filling out work paper, like paperwork for a job. Or school. So you would usually give either the city or the town that you live in or were born in or grew up in or you can either do the city and the town or either city or town. Up to you depending on how much information you want to give this person. And then they might ask how old are you and you can say I'm such and such years old or I'm 35. I'm not 35 but you can say you're 35 if you're 35. If you don't want to be specific, you can say I'm in my early 30s or I'm in my late 30s, I'm in my mid 30s, I'm nearly 30, I'm over 20. <laughs> or you can say I'm near your age if you and the person you're speaking with are close in age. So if you're in, if you're 32, you can say I'm in my early 30s, 38, you're in your late 30s, 34, or 35, 35, you're in your mid 30s, so yeah. There are too many of the delicious options. And if you and the person you're talking to are having a good conversation, they might ask you about your family, if you have any siblings, who's the youngest, who's the oldest. If you don't have any siblings, you can say, I'm an only child, or you can say, I don't have any siblings. Otherwise, you can say, I have this number of brothers and this number of sisters. What is your date of birth or when is your birthday? Usually the first one, what is your date of birth, you'll hear that in a more formal setting such as um, at a doctor's office when they're filling out your paperwork, um, maybe a job interview. Um, usually you fill that out yourself though on the application. Um, but if you're having a regular conversation with someone, they would ask you, when is your birthday? And you can reply with, my birthday is January 21st. Let's say someone asks you for your phone number. You can say my phone number is, phone numbers are different across the world. I know that. So like here in, here in America, it's like three numbers, three numbers, and then four numbers. But I know in some places it's like two, four, two, or two, three, five. It's really weird. Like in Hawaii, we asked for a phone, they asked for a phone number and it was like two, three, and five, I think, digits, the way that they did it. And I was really confused when I took the phone number down. <laughs> I asked someone for a phone number actually to a restaurant. Weird. 
Weird. People will often ask you about your job. So they might ask you, what do you do? Or what do you do for a living? So are you, um, what do you do for a living? You can answer, I am a nurse or I am an elementary school teacher. I work as a, I work for this company as, or you can say, I just started as. If you don't want to be specific, you can just say, I work in retail or I work at, or you can also say, I work from home. If you don't currently work, you can say, I'm unemployed. Um, if you don't want to tell people that you're unemployed, you can say, I'm in between jobs. Or if you're a stay-at-home mom or dad, you can say, I'm home with the baby. Another way to say that you're unemployed is you can just simply state that you are currently looking for a new job. If you're lucky, you might be able to say, I'm retired. If you're one of those few people that can retire and relax. This means you've reached the age where you don't have to work anymore. If you're a student, people will most likely ask, where do you study and what it is that you are studying? or what's your major? And you can say, I'm a student at UCLA, I'm studying business, or my major is business. Or another way to say it is, I study at, or I am at, or I go to, followed by the name of your school. When people hear that English isn't your first language, they might be curious and ask, how long have you been learning English? To which you can say, I've been learning English for such and such years. For example, I've been learning English for seven years now. Or you can say, I started learning English when I was 15 years old. Sometimes you might also get a question about your marital status. Are you married? Do you have a girlfriend or boyfriend? You can say, I'm married, I'm single, I have a boyfriend or I have a girlfriend. Or you can say I'm engaged or divorced or I'm not ready for a serious relationship. Maybe I'm not ready for a serious relationship. Or it's complicated or I'm going through a divorce or my husband or wife and I are separated. If you haven't had much luck finding the right person yet, say I haven't found what I'm looking for or I'm not seeing or dating anyone right now. Sheldon, I'm just not dating someone right now. And here, if you want, you can also add, I don't have any children, or I have however many children you have. For example, I have two boys, AKA my pugs, for me. <laughs> and they're super cute. Now I encourage you to watch this video one more time and pause it and write down your self introduction, practice it in front of the mirror, as much as you can so this way you will never be uncomfortable again. Now I hope you all enjoyed this video and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure you subscribe to English with Lingo Trip and watch some of our other videos and I'll see you all next time. Bye!